hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. It is this one, Morning Wood against <clears throat> Ectothermix Cutes. As you may notice, the stream looks a little different because I am in my mom's place downstairs, which means uh, no lamp and wobbly, wobbly cam and uh, different lighting and stuff will make do. My team looks like this. I got a new tree. It's cool. Two dancers, tackle sidestep, tackle sidestep, and strip ball and frenzy. We have a dodge thrower. We have a an agility catcher. We have a new tree. Duh. We have a bludge guard with minus agility. Did he also have a niggle? No, just minus agility. Good. Um, we have a strength bludge step guard catcher. Bloat. And a movement sure feet catcher. That's very nice. We also have a rookie guard lineman. Uh, nine players, so a tree plus two journeyman is actually fine. And that's my team. The team I will be playing against are these guys. Crunky Chops coaching <clears throat> a guard stand from Crocs, a uh, block guard plus strength Saurus, a block mighty blow Saurus, a skink with sure hands, boo, sidestep, dive, tackle, a skink with bludge step, diving, tackle, and a skink with sidestep minus movement, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 players total, that's a lot, 16, 20, 16, 40, except I get 140k in journeyman, which means he might be able to afford a wizard, hmm, maybe that treatment wasn't the brightest idea ever. Didn't really think that one through, did you? I forgot about the journeyman adding to the team value, so I didn't run the numbers. But here we go. I'm playing on a single 1080p monitor instead of my usual 3440 by 1440 monitor, which is a bit more convenient when it comes to doing different things at once, which is also why the intro looked a bit weird when I all tapped out of it. <coughs> So, here we go. He's choosing to defend with his wizard. Makes a lot of sense to me. It gives him a chance to use the wizard. It gives him a chance to get rid of my one turning potential. No, well, gives him a chance to reduce my numbers before he has to go on offense against dancers. No, oh, fair enough. It's time for a Blood Bowl indeed. Yep, he showed up two minutes before I, I would have decided to uh, stop bothering. So, fairly rookie-ish team, that's nice for us. Let's see, thrower will do the throwing, insofar as it's relevant. And catcher will hang back as well. Do we have anything that we can really block with? Well, we have a tree, but we have two dancers, of course. Suppose we start off here and here. And there. And this guy can block too, I suppose. Very, very catcher heavy team, this. Not two. That's six. And yeah, it's not worth making that nine. But it might be worth Thanks, an extra mate. block out of there. Ooh, thank you, James Typhoon, for the resub. Uh, yeah. Do we want to blitz the strength five? Not really. Am I okay with this as is? Sure. This works. This works. What? Right. <clears throat> 
Uh oh. So, brilliant, brilliant start. Lovely. Kind of exposed to it too. Deep kick, I guess, is more in my favor than working against me. But when combined with the wizard, he's going to punch the guard. That makes a lot of sense to me. Rookie guard, block mighty blood to punch with. Ooh, that's helpful. Guard survives. Still got my frenzy stuck here, though. <laughs> it does sound a little bit like CK2, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get chat visible next to the game somewhat. Like that, maybe. So obviously he's going to come in fairly aggressively. But he's only got two diving tackles. One of which is his sure hands. So that should help a little bit, I guess. Because he's going to have a hard time preventing these guys from doing anything. And of course, with pass and catch and agility five and movement, we should still be able to do a bunch of stuff. I like how the ball hangs in the air like that during a blitz. That is, uh, that is definitely a cool thing. Hi there, holes. This is also a sensible spot because he doesn't want this tackler to blitz back. And get these guys stuck. Fair enough. Uh, I just can't see enough of chat to really make sense of it. So basically, I have to look at my phone to see chat or I'll tap away, neither of which is ideal. Wait a minute. No, I can see it in miniature here on the OBS screen, of course. Duh. That's better. Now I'll just have trouble reading which name is whose, but this should work. He lacks Saurus. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's got six Saurus. Here, 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 and there. <clears throat> no second monitor. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm on my laptop in a different apartment. That's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would exactly let me pass there, so that's good. Where is Surehand's guy? Surehand's guy is. Here. Here, that's not easily blitzed. What we could do, however, is blitz that guy, get him stuck. That seems like a good idea. That seems like a splendid idea. So, this guy's got agility 3, so he's not really moving places. This guy's got a guard against him, so this is still a one die. This is a treatment, so it's not reliable. So, what would we need to set up that thing I'm looking at? I think I really want the boss first. Ah, uh, no. Mm, actually, yes. So, don't sneak anything, please. Thank you. Two plus two plus with rerolls, of course. There. <clears throat> if we want to do this, we could do this there. That's a GFI. We could do this here. Hmm. 
there. And there. Now I'm kind of relying on this working the way I hope. But if it doesn't, then I can still hide in the backfield, say that this is a boat down or something. But at any of these times, snakes would be pretty dreadful. Do I mind powing here instead of pushing? No, not really. We're not surfing yet anyway. Alright. This should be helpful. Could even choose to foul this, but with no bench, it's less than ideal. I guess. Yeah, let's do that. that guy. There we go. Right, first block for art. Let's make it a Kaz, shall we? Ah, oh, let me down, bro. Let me down. Well, that means we get stuck here because I'm not re-rolling that loner. Then again, this guy has ta- oh wait, that's me. That had tackle. Whoops. Should've just gotten, rid of, gotten away from there then. Chooses to stand the Saurus up. That requires a lot of commitment from him, I think. Just let him three die my one turner, I guess. Maybe. Chooses not to use the wizard yet. That's kind of okay, I guess. Ball and chain with shadowing. That would be cool. That would be cool, except they tend to have relatively low movement, but the concept's nice for sure. Well, considering we suffered a blitz and uh, are facing a wizard, things could be worse, right? Don't say that, chat Sage. Don't say that. You know, you know what happens when you say stuff like that. Yeah, I actually misread this thing. I saw the tackle and then thought it was the Saurus, but of course it was the Dancer, because I already knew that he doesn't actually have any tackle. No, not a 3-die on the uh, one-turner, but rather a 2-die on the Garter, to no avail though. So again, Garter hanging in there, Nagalara. Undoubtedly an extreme. Uh, no, that's not the strength 3 dancer, the uh, catcher. This is the strength 3 catcher. This is the movement 9 catcher. I understand that it gets confusing with so many plus. I actually have uh, one of each stat except armor. I have a strength 1, an agility 1, and a movement 1. Pretty nice. Set up a good surf. Maybe. Would be nice if we could. Uh, this garden needs to be free though. Well, if you're talking about a pro elf blitzer, they start with block sidestep. If you're talking about a catcher, then yeah, no. I think um, I think one of the best cases for shadowing is actually uh, in Blubble Two, the human catcher. See, this is this is annoying for me. 
because he's got Diving Tackle on my Movement 9. My Movement 9 doesn't have Sidestep. And he's very, very much stuck here. So that forces me to deal with this situation. And this situation is already hard because he's got Guard there and Strength 5 as well. Yeah, so with uh, with the um, with the armor eight of human catchers, um, you can actually choose to start using them for marking. And once you've got block, sidestep, diving, tackle, I think shadowing is quite okay. Yeah, so this guy is in trouble. Can we fix that? Uh, why does it ask me to dodge? Because it's his turn one, I guess. And he's on the line. Oh, no, because I've set it to manual when I was doing an anti-one turn, of course. Let's fix that. Jeez, dude, Croxigore. That is not how we do things here. For fuck's sake. Double pals, my bludger. Oh, bugger. Well, that, that complicates matters a bit for this drive. Yikes. So I guess he's planning to dodge out with this Saurus, otherwise he would have done, moved it sooner, right? This guy's got Agility 3, so he's stuck. This guy's got Loner, so he's pretty stuck as well. I think we're going to have to switch sides a little bit. This guy's going to have to get up. What can we free and how? Because right now we've got three, four. And he's got four or five. So even a blitz there wouldn't really help enough. can he go everywhere so we need to do that blitz pretty much So suppose we hand off to the thrower and hide in the corner. We can get safe from everything for our turn. Shitty fish. Okay. We need to be at least here. But we also don't want to get marked by that. Which is still very much possible here. So let's just be there then. Alright. So that's the ball. Sort of safe for now. What about these guys? Where where's the tree most useful? Hey, where's my thing going? Oh, sorry, is there a noise? Let me see if I can filter that out for you guys. The mic is definitely a lot closer to the fan th than usual. Alright. Better? Mm. I don't think keeping this occupied will help much. 
keeping this guy occupied might help though. Not Ruthless, that's good. Dodge is good. GFI here seems worth it. There we go. So this will be a 4 plus dodge. I really can't risk the 4 plus dodge until this guy's safe from surfing, right? Which means he's probably just going to end his turn because this is a 5 plus dodge. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. At least he's not getting surfed. <coughs> Could wizard now, I guess. Yeah, that that pow from the from the crocs on the dancer was definitely very very annoying. Removing one of my two tacklers is uh, is a burden. He, I think he handled this nicely. I was trying to pressure this Saurus into a surfing risk so that he wouldn't send him up. Instead, he clustered around it so effectively that I couldn't. The guard from the Saurus really mattered a lot, and the fact that I didn't have sidestep. If I had sidestep, I might have risked something more uh, one die oriented, but given that a failure would result in a counter surf, I didn't dare. <coughs> Combined with the wizard and the bench, this makes for a pretty tricky situation. And the two diving tacklers are definitely coming in handy as well. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a long reach around. Yikes! Ah, yes! Got it! Got it! Got it! Ah! And I'm up. Brilliant. A straight up two die on the dancer. Not a pow this time, that's good. <laughs> <coughs> Sidestep. Do we want to stay with the skink? I think we want to be here for now. Guard. Sure, why not? Let the box skink punch Jeremy. Makes sense to me. Yeah, he's got enough sidestep that I don't really get much value out of my frenzy. That's a uh, that's a damn shame. Okay, block skink doesn't do that great a job, but he still gets another shot with the saurus. In Blubble 1, they were female. Well, I guess he's not going to push my dancer, right? I wouldn't. So in here, we'll make sense. Or in there, that works too. Oh, another KO! Well, to be fair, most Wood Elves are, uh, you know, relatively androgynous. Okay, okay. Punch the Blodger, I guess, there. Yeah, it sucks to have one Agility 3 and one Journeyman on this flank. That leaves me very little in uh, maneuverability options. Mm, 
Another armor break. Another power as well. Fair enough, Killjoy. Fair enough. Right, right, right. So, we're still on this guy. We can blitz the crocs. I'm really surprised he didn't stick this diving tackler onto there, to be honest. Well, if we blitz the crocs, we're going to get super bunched up. Which is a bit of a problem, really. Why am I pressing that again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess. Oi, let me click stuff. There you go. <gasps> oh. Well, that's lovely. And the apple says, there's no point in living with minus armor as a Croxigore. Better off dead. That's not the first time one of my, uh, one of my dancers does something like that. Good boy. Good boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could be here. Uh, where do we get the ball? Because we're not passing to the journeyman. We could go there. Yeah, still exposed. What about hanging here with the ball? Could we make that work? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's actually not that bad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. And then we need him there. I think this uh, this kind of works. I mean, he could bolt, of course. <clears throat> and we might be in trouble, but we've got some control over here. Three plus dodge with reroll, or two die. Yeah, three plus dodge first. Good, good. There we go. Then we're now here, I guess. Screening off a little bit on that side. Did I? Pals are good. Pals are nice. Pals are my friend. I'm choosing not to follow so that this screen remains intact and so that he's going to have to mark it or I get to move it. Because this guy's not going anywhere anyway. Out bashing? Yeah, I guess so. These are both KOs, and that was a Kaz. Yeah, so he does the bolt, which was to be expected. But at least I'm relatively far away from all of these kinks, I guess. Uh, he's probably going to... He's going to have a hard time getting, getting the ball safe. But getting it is going to be easy. Okay, punch down the journeyman. Yeah, that was to be expected. 
I figured I was at least kind of far enough away from all of those kinks. Hmm. But yeah, with a bunch of GFIs, they might still uh, might still manage to get somewhere sort of safe. Which means we're going to have to rely on the Fault user to work his magic. Hmm. Uh, we don't have the thrower anymore. Do we have the Jelly 5 anywhere nearby? Yeah, kinda. So he could do the retrieval if the dancer manages to magic his way through this. This skink is really far. But this one can do stuff, this one can do stuff. Yeah. I was, I was fairly stuck there. <laughs> oh, more fins. Awesome. Yeah, so attack is on the ball already. Yeah, and they are really cheap as well, Alark. 80k for a strength 4 armor 9, movement 6. It's awesome. <coughs> hmm, this stun could actually become pretty meaningful. Sense enough, I suppose. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a uh, pain. Two, four, six, eight. Not even a GFI to go here, which means you can make two GFIs to go there. He's got sure hands. Which makes both the sack harder and the pickup more likely. Wait, that's not the control. Ah. I don't like this keyboard. Diving tackle on the ball first. But uh, I want this one. Yes. Okay, get the pickup. Snake! Okay. So that sucks. That's that really sucks. Sensible positioning as well. This guy's in the way too, bastard. <sighs> yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, that's something. We're all gone, still got two more though. This guard is really annoying. Wait, this is a one die already. So if we make that two. You stand up, because you're not going anywhere. Ah, I needed him for the assist there. That's rather rubbish. Hmm. 
No Sonic step really except for him. Oh. So what if we bring him there? Then we punch through here. Or we go here. Ah, really don't like my options. I mean, he's played it well, but I think I could have had a shot if that tree had been willing to assist. So suppose we one die this. Yeah, I guess that's the plan. Good enough, I suppose. Mm. Mm. Let's one, two, three, four, five. Seven, okay, good. Eight, two dice, tackle does a thing. <sighs> Where are you gonna go now, huh? Where are you gonna go now? There, that makes sense. Oh, come on, not even a stun? What the... What the bleep? Alright. Dive and tackle there. That sucks. Bunch of tackle zones here, there, there, and there. Right. Pull back! We're not doing the pass thingy that we were hoping we could do. Does that help enough? Can we get through anywhere? That's uh, three tackle zones. This is one. One... Yeah, not really. Okay, that's good. Sure feet has been needed, but that's okay. Yeah, that's not how you go there. But thank you, Cyanide. This works, right? Just just a couple of dice. Nothing special. Uh, <laughs> just a couple of dice. No big deal. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel safe here, but it's better than nothing. <sighs> that is why you have an agility 5 catcher. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Lizards? I didn't see any lizards. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Sure feet coming in handy too. Well, in this case, I'd... Uh, <coughs> I felt like I needed to get that ball on the blodger, basically. 
Also, he's going to have to do a bit of work to get three dice with the blanche. On the blanche, I mean. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Calf. <laughs> that is that is really really nice. <laughs> Gets the pow. That's annoying. Would have liked him to keep people busy a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. I guess this does will do. See, I was thinking of saying at least it's not Mighty Blow, and then I decided against it. I am so wise. Oh. Okay, I shouldn't laugh because that's if that's really true, it's actually kind of awful. But it's also pretty funny. don't pow me. Well, at least. If he was going to pow twice, then I'm glad it wasn't on this guy, but chances are he still is. This one's in scoring range, easily. It's funny, but given how locked in your current job you feel, it's also kind of awful. The Aussie pows three in a row. Well, right now they're pretty big. Oh, going for the extra punch. Oh, going for the nine dice instead of six. Waste a reroll on the GFI, please. Waste a reroll on the GFI, please. No, that's not a pow, but he's still got six more dice. Hmm. If I were him, I would have probably made that a two die with this gink. Two. That's not a pow either. Oh, nine dice! Oh, wow! Oh, man. Keldegat, you are my hero. You are a true champion of champions. Got all the right pals in all the right places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood elf catchers are both doing a spectacular job this game. Of course, we're still getting bloody stuck here. This is what no tackle does to your team. Well, he does have. He does have uh, two diving tacklers, which he's making excellent use of right now, as you can see. He doesn't even have to snake. He's, he's pretty damn stuck right now. Uh, they're just uh, sleepy, but quite a few are sleepy, at least. Uh, he doesn't have any tackle. He used the mighty blow Balls block on the blitz. Steel. And it was a three die blitz, Kuma. Thank you for the resub. Join RBS. Welcome. So much appreciated. No, don't pow that. I was scoring with that. So now that he's not scoring, this is suddenly becoming very precarious again. I guess the dream is probably not scoring either. That's not a pow.
I didn't see where he went, but I'll stay. That was to be expected, yeah. So we're not scoring there. He's got agility 3, so he's really not worth running off with either. So the numbers thing is starting to add up just a little bit. Yeah. So. Let's stand up. A leap away from the diving tackle. Good, good. Uh, this does not have guard, so there's no need to spend the extra movement to punch this guy in the face. Like that, yeah. This was, at one point, a super busted Wood Elf team. It's not that bad anymore now. So I think this guy cannot reach there. So I think if we just stay on here, even though it hurts, and on there, I suppose. Well, let's send him out. Right, so he doesn't have sidestep, so we're not going in here. He can reach, he can reach, he could mark, that's annoying. But the only strength you could blitz me is there. That's a 3 plus. Let's try this. 3 plus with reroll? Yes, reroll does it. Screen off this bit. Let's see if we can go here at least. Yeah, that looks alright. Looks right to me. Did I use dodge yet? Nope, haven't. Would I rather be here? Yeah, I'd rather be here. There. <coughs> Considering how awful my position was, I think this went okay-ish, right? <sighs> I like that, Diog. Just casually walking out of all that. Yep, yep, yep. It's, it, there are very few teams in the game who can outrun lizards. But if there's one that can, it's Woody's. <sighs> Between the Rooted Tree and the Agility 3, though, and the Journeyman, this is still a very, very weak link in my uh, reliability. Yep, Woody's in Skaven, pretty much. But Woody's can do so with all of their players. Skaven can only do so with a couple. You can catch them on the ground and step on them. That is very true, as, you, as evidenced by my four KOs already. Also, I don't have a babe. So that's another good reason why I really want to score this drive, is that we get two sets of KO rolls. Because I much prefer a 75% recovery rate over a 50% recovery rate. Or an estimated one, anyway. But I did get the Crocs out, so that's kind of cool. And the Apple. 
Yeah, I think my last game I had uh, zero out of six KO recoveries. That was uh, that was a bit shitty. Thank you, Gumo. Yes. <laughs> Lag for the win. <laughs> Who got the Crocs out? Nice. <laughs> I really, really like you guys. Hmm. I do think this um, this could have been far, far worse. Preferring a GFI over a Dodge and punished, punished. Last reroll gone. Ooh, that's big. <gasps> He could mark that with three GFIs. We're going to kill that skink for sure. For show. Sure. You're not going to make that three dice. Do I feel the need to run much further than I can without GFIs? Not really. I mean, it would be nice if this guy couldn't reach me, but that's about it, really. So like one GFI there would do. Two, four, six, eight. Huh. If I make three GFIs. Two, four, six, eight. I make him make more two, and I've got sure feet. And he doesn't have a team reroll. So this is actually better. Yeah, I'm not willing to risk that. If I punch him twice, he could be able to mark me. I really don't want to lose this guy. Is there any way he can get there? No, not really. Let's just get him out here then. Come on, been bunching skinks for a while now. Time to get good. Yeah, that'll do for now. I mean, it's a dive and tackler out. Blood step. So that's helpful. Still got two rerolls. Can I screen this and be safe? Yes, but I need both rerolls, which would prevent me from marking that, maybe. No, of course I can. Fish. Is it be here? And there. That would make me relatively safe, huh? Th three plus is made. Ooh, there goes my reroll. Do I sneak it too? Nope, I do not sneak it too. That's nice. Let's see if we can get safe from here. Yes, we can. He can still target the dancer, but he's going to have to get out of his way a bit more. That's good. The treeman can't do anything. Come over here. Come back here. I'll bite your legs off. Or your head, rather. I do think it's an awesome model, though. It's been so long since I played with the tree. So, there's no point in scoring on 7 if we can help it. And ideally, we score with Drace, actually, because he's the Jelly 5 and he's on 14. Getting him block will be super helpful.
not none yet, I think, uh, Seed. Uh, no, I, if I score on my 8, I still recover on Chaos, because he still gets his 8. The problem is, if I score on my 7, he gets to 2 turn. And I don't have enough time to steal unless there's a... Uh, a wizard. Uh, sorry, a blitz. Yeah, it is my offensive drive. He had a wizard, which is why it looked like a defensive drive. Ah, oh, man. What a game! What a game! Kumo, could you note those um, lots of GFIs and dodges from the two catchers uh, for a highlight? I think that was worth one. Yeah, that punch on the Crocs was super lucky. I mean, I complained about not breaking the Skinks before, <clears throat> but I'll take a monstrous hit like that over uh, over removing a Skink, especially since he's got a bunch of backup, and in this matchup, Prehensile Tail. Yeah, I think I think the 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 total of this drive from. Uh, fr from the moment I stole until the moment I escaped um, would make a good highlight. Thanks. I've actually been editing highlights again today, and it's funny because it's, it's uh, as you know, um, there's quite a big delay between my YouTube matches and my live matches, or rather the other way around. And so uh, editing my highlights is actually a lot of fun because I uh, forget most of the stuff that's happened before. And as a result, uh, all of the highlight stuff is actually new to me again. <laughs> it's super funny. Oh, he's in the way. Oh, no, he's not. He's in the way. Ah, crap. For a moment, I thought he couldn't get to where he wanted to go. But alas, he can. Why does it keep switching the modes? I mean, I must be accidentally leaning on the control key or something. Mm. Oh, this is an annoying power, actually. This limits my stalling options considerably. You can sideline surf this guy if he really wants to. Oh, and a foul on the garter. Why not? He's got plenty of players anyway. And I do not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leave me there. Can I live with that? Hmm. Yeah, they revamped the whole uh, the whole way that thing works. Let's see, this guy, wait, he's stuck, he, they can't blitz me, I can just chill over here and do my thing next turn if I want to. Ha, huh. pay attention, Sage. The dying Tackle's very, very far away. Ooh, don't choose, one reroll remaining. Oh, no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Worth the leap? Worth the leap. Let's leap. 
Ooh, it's good. Leaps have been very, very kind to me. Suppose he pushes, then this is still a screen. Is this guy an annoyance? Yeah, I guess he might be. I'm not going to do that much more there anyway. Why not, right? Why not? This guy, well, right now he's getting fouled, and rightly so. So, suppose we go here instead. Three plus two plus. Wow! Dodges are on fire today! So, he could try to hunt down this guy. He could try to mark that guy. Or he could just take a mighty blow punch on something. Two, three, four, five, six, something valuable. No. Well, you can stop elves by, by hurting enough of them. And, I mean, the stuff that you... Like, he's forced me to make a bunch of uh, uh, three plus rolls, for example. That, that makes them unreliable. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Diog. So I guess he's just going to punch the garter again or something. No idea. <laughs> yep, yeah, tree may be rooted, but it didn't lose tackle zones. Oh, he had a two die on the garter without GFI, but he stuck this uh, Saurus in the way. Oh, five plus two die? Okay, five plus two plus two die? Fair enough, worth a shot, right? It's not like I've got an GFI five nearby who can do shit. So, how much am I willing to risk? I'm definitely three dying this sure has gone. Because if I can remove him before the. That doesn't matter much. If I can remove him before I get to kick, that is glorious, right? Oh no, it's merely a push! That's so sad. I didn't even leave him a spot, that would not be. Ooh, powers, however, are much nicer. Non-removals, however, make me a little bit sad. You know what? I am willing to risk a handoff. Not snakes! Woo! Oh wow, he just fell through his crotch. That was good. The strength 5 had moved already, yes. So, we skilled our agility 5. That's awesome. We recover 1 out of 4. Okay. He recovers 1 out of 1. We do not have a journeyman for the line of scrimmage, so we'll have to field something else there. 
He has one turning potential, of course. Let's see. How about if you're here? And you're there. Why? Move. Right there. Would I rather lose the Agility 3 Garter or the Thrower? Well, the Thrower is healthy, and health is kind of a serious commodity here. Oh, no, sorry, uh, Arm Devil. I am streaming from a laptop with a small screen, and uh, keeping an eye on chat is a lot more difficult than usual. Um... Hmm. Pretty human, I like that description. Yeah, I guess it's so. Let me set my um, dodge to manual. There we go. No, no, this will do, I suppose. This will do. <laughs> now, the only people who get banned are the ones who either really, really cross a line, <clears throat> like we had in Discord a while back, or people who are only here to troll. And I think I've banned a total of three people in two and a half years. Well, no, a little over two years. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely uh, definitely good. So, um, good point, Kumo. Um, you guys, uh, Calf has actually uh, decided to... Um, <clears throat> open up uh, community plays uh, over Christmas, which I think is awesome. So anyone who doesn't have uh, who doesn't have any plans is uh, is more than welcome to join in. I think it's uh, it's great. Well, if you're if you're here um, to actually watch the stream and enjoy and chat and stuff, and you sometimes also troll, um, that's different, absolutely. But if you're um, if your only contribution is negativity, then at some point it's uh, it's enough. Yes, would have really liked a kicker here. No, no, no. He doesn't have a reroll, but he does have sure hands. He doesn't need to one turn now. Um, Lactanian, it's not about your uh, nickname matching. It's about linking your um, your Twitch account to your uh, Discord account. And in the Discord channel, in the living room, there is a sticky message which actually describes how to do that. So... 
So. He'll still need some handoff somewhere. And he doesn't power this. That's nice, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, if he one turns here... Yes, I will use Dodge. Uh, I retweeted it, but I didn't actually see it. I know, right, Kumal? I know. How do you feel about Frenzy Ward answers? I think it's silly. No one should ever pick Frenzy on a... <gasps> well! That leaves exactly one skink in touchdown range. So are we going for the 75% dodge, or are we going for the leap? We have a reroll, we can go for the leap. Uh, do I have to sacrifice guys on these? I guess so, right? I guess so. Good. 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 The place I put him is bad, actually. This guy has sidestep. So, I guess I would rather three-die him than... If I three-die, I take the both down, right? Yeah. Let me think. No. No, I don't take the boat down. I take the pow. Thank you. Ah, weak tree. Art, step up your game. Uh, sure. Whee! Let me think. Do I want to reroll this? I might want to save it for... No, wait a minute. I don't. Uh, so there's a difference, a lark, between the soundboard I have in my shortcut keys and the... Um, <clears throat> and the soundboard uh, you guys have access to. The one, um, the one you send via commands is just based on the bot. And most of those are uh, lost when the computer died. The ones that I have available in my... Um, in my my shortcuts are stored in the cloud, so those I still have. <clears throat> I've I've not bothered with them as much. I've kind of gotten used to doing without them, and um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Uh, on this computer, it's I'm I'm definitely on the computer here. I'm definitely not doing this. 
uh, because screen space is already enough and I need the cheat sheet to figure out which does what. Not sure what this is about. Does he realize I don't get a turn 8? My, uh, my desktop died a while back, yeah. But I have, uh, I have a laptop here, which serves me well. Let's go down here, that way at least it re reduces a punch I would take here. Uh, as a matter of fact, the oak, I got two. Two turnates. I scored on one and I stole the ball on another. Hmm. I guess we can turn dodge back to automatic now. Now that the one turning threat has passed us by. Would be really nice if these two got up though. What's he doing? Why are you blitzing the ball and not the dancer? <sighs> hmm. Well, Mighty Blow wouldn't have gotten that either. No, he's denied that too. Right, <clears throat> that went super well. Now, if we could only get our KOs back, it would be perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a game that's going... Uh, splendidly. Yeah, that cackle. I know, right? Yeah, this looks good, except for the fact that it doesn't. Ah, oh, we're doing this thing again. This looks all right. I think Die Hard is as much a Christmas movie as Gremlins is. Uh, hey Cuthbert. Yeah, a uh, <clears throat> I I dis I. I had to get around the Croxigore because that was the only spot where I could get somewhat control. Get some measure of control. So I blitzed the Croxigore with two dice. <clears throat> and I rolled a 10 into a 10 into a 5 into a 6. Which means that the Apo tried to cure his minus armor by cutting off his head. <clears throat> which really, really sucks for Crunky Chops. He also spent some of his own money on a wizard. He might regret that a little bit now. Um, tough, tough question. I think 13 is probably good in, in Champ Ladder because you get to use them as fodder against, um, <clears throat> against Claw Guys. If you knew you wouldn't be playing against Claw, I wouldn't mind an 11 player squad. But the moment you start playing against Claw, you really, really want more of them. Might even do, use them for line, uh, line scrimmage.
Gizmo is a good argument, absolutely. Yeah, staying away from the tree makes sense. See, this tree is saving me attrition already. Does still have a full squad. Well, no, let's scratch that. He does still have 11 players. Five skinks and I'm back to two tackles. Ball is in the clear. Yeah, removing the sure hands is like the only, the only thing I could have asked for beyond this. And the tree is acting like a free fend. See that? That's one journeyman not getting marked. And that's another journeyman not getting marked. Go tree fend. At least this pickup's good. <laughs> Why is the plus strength still alive? I'm working on it, okay? Look, I, I did that. I did that. Ar minus armor into Apo death on the Crocs. Jeez. One strength five at a time. So the sure hands is out back, which means we can send AVQC to hunt him. And then we can keep defaulted user here so that if he chooses to hand off and run, we actually get a benefit from strip ball as well. That uh, that could be the case, uh, Legtonian. Did you do it just now or did you do it before and uh, did it not work? Happy tree fence. <laughs> oh. oh man, that was so cool. I watched that quite a bit. Yeah, I think the role updates like every hour or every day or something like that, but it should uh, it should assign it to you. Two, four, six, eight. 10, so you can't hand off to this skink. That's kind of nice. Push me! Yeah, but he should have the uh, the Twitch sub role in Discord once he's... Uh... Oh, he wasn't uh, wasn't listed as a. Uh... Mm. Why did he blitz with the skink? Because he had used block on this guy and block on this guy on the line of scrimmage, and the skink is his third block. Uh, no, there's a there's a two separate rules for that, and the reason for that is very simple. It's handled by two different bots, and they can't uh, they can't share a role. I'm pretty sure you get both rolls if you are, but it can't show both at the same time in the list. But if you look at your rolls, you should have both. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ Superstar. That's kind of a Christmassy movie, right? Oh. I'm not a uh, not really big on these things. You play with him. That should help. Mighty Blow is busy. And Armor 10 is a good guy to keep him busy. 
this guy could get handed off to. Is that a problem? Do we want to fix it? No, I'm good. I'm good. You get to do this. The reason we're here is that so that if the frenzy is a push, we would get a two die on the follow up. And then you go here where you can threaten pretty much everything. Why do I keep seeing not seeing the default icons? This mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there, there, here. Whoops, that leaves no one blocking this. Yeah. So be it, I guess. So, this is interesting enough, because this guy, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, threatens all the way the backfield. So, the, the sure hands guy can't hide from him. If the sure hands guy hands off... It brings us into the range of this dancer, who's got strip ball as well. This is kind of what we were talking about the other day uh, on the value of strip ball once opponents start getting sure hands. In this case, they've also got strength too, so it's not super necessary. But you can still see that it still contributes. Woodies are the most obvious example of this. Well, neither does Rabbit, I guess. I don't know. No idea how that works. I'm not a lawyer. Consider becoming one once. I bet Cosmic has something to say about this. So if someone gives us grief about it, we can just say, well, Cosmic told us to do it. Yeah, second half facing 11 woodies is um, is tough for anyone. <laughs> Thanks, Kuma. Yeah, the idea isn't to stream it, but... Well, you're streaming it on Rabbit, which is still streaming, as in you're still broadcasting it. But you're not bound by your uh, by your Twitch uh, contract for it, so any um, <clears throat> any issues that copyrights might uh, might result in would be your personal issues and not your affiliate or um, your partner contract issue. So you wouldn't get in trouble with Twitch over it. Um, and since that's all Rabbit does is streaming these movies, yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, I'm gonna really, really miss you when I'm on vacation. Hmm. So he spent two and a half of his four minutes waiting now. Let me go and be a nice guy. When? Well, 
I am going to be... That's a good idea, Seed. That one's without an exclamation mark. I am leaving Friday afternoon, and I'll be back on the 30th. I will definitely be on Discord on my phone uh, during the time, so if you want to chat and hang out and stuff, we can. <laughs> yes, this is my mom's place. This is not yet the shed. So his plan is to force me to make a one die with strip ball and block. Oh no, not strip ball. Because he's not in touchdown range yet. <gasps> That's what, his third double skull or something? This one or that one? this one. Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> All right. Um, can we do this the funky way? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I think. That would be pretty cool. Let's start off with a loner block, though. have to go in here as well, but he could do that. Yeah, it's cool. That's a good reason to do it, right? Let's do this one first. See how that goes. Uh, both down. Yeah, glad that wasn't the loner block. This one doesn't have sure feet. That works. You don't have a second assist there, though. Uh, that doesn't work, does it? No, that doesn't work at all. So I'd have to get in there instead. Yeah, I was thinking of it, but of course, if he chain, he can't chain push in there because of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The plan was for me to push him 
into here, into there. Yeah, I suppose with a leap. But then I'd still need him. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. Ah. Let's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, sure. Leap is good again. I'd say they're pretty much our only good throw-ins, to be honest. So this situation is bad, but not awful, because these guys aren't going anywhere. This guy's not doing much. This guy's not doing much, really. So, 17, 7. Yeah, let's just run off with it, right? Who needs it most? I think you will do. I just told him to watch the clock last time, didn't I? Sure. Ah! <laughs> I clicked on throw teammate instead of on the block. Yeah, well. We'll live. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He could surf. <coughs> but I think he's more likely to get a result if he... Oh, he can't blitz that, actually. Well... Never mind. <laughs> Good question, Seed. Good question. Mind and brain are the same thing, okay? No, ish. This guy could mark. I mean, there's no real need for me to stall here, is there? Yeah, if you could, if you could pick um, right stuff as an agility skill, that would be uh, that would be interesting. I think he really, really wants to serve that dancer. Is he going to make that? Yeah, that too. Salty and trying to hurt a good player, I guess. To be fair, I do think that Wood Elf Treeman lists throw teammate in his in his uh, description. Pondering what I'm pondering. Let's 
three, four, five. Six. I need another thumb. For no, I not yet. Ah, denied the surf. Okay. He's definitely not getting anything. Let's try this. Because now that this is good, we can actually bless this game too. Mm, let's bless to get one. I really don't mind scoring here, by the way. Because there's more to be had. He gets both back, which means he's still on 11, but he no longer has sure hands. And since he no longer has sure hands, we can start hunting down the ball wherever it goes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, um, this is the last game of the stream because uh, after this match, I have agreed to be a guest on the Rebel podcast, um, which means talking about Blood Bowl, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. A double 10. Oh, a non double 10. My blood tackle piling on. Yeah, apparently it's the uh, the one year anniversary of the podcast, and so they uh, they would wanted to do something special. Uh, that is definitely on the uh, on the agenda. Yes. Yeah, stand firm's not bad, guard's not bad. Uh, Juggernaut is also an option. Juggernaut synergizes with piling on and with frenzy. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think a plus movement is worth it. <clears throat> yeah, actually, three skills already. Yeah, maybe maybe plus movement would be worth it. Oh, my kingdom for a kick. Perfect defense, huh? Well, 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 where dare we put the tree? How much guard do we even have? You know what? What if we put you here? And you there? And you.
Oh, why can't I click stuff? Shift click. Yeah, there we go. Then, then we can keep you guys here, I suppose. I wouldn't blitz there, so why should you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Probably not. If you're gonna feed him one, you might as well feed him two, right? Or even three. Yeah, or even three. I need someone here though. Now he can one die the tree. Mm, not much more. Okay, starts off with the power. That's slightly annoying. Oi, let me click! That power made my life a little bit difficult. But it's still keeping him busy around here at least. Another pow. On the one player on this team I am losing. But he's not lost. Yeah, the hundred and fifty the uh, the bank rule is on the agenda, absolutely. Absolutely. Why does it keep switching? I'm not leaning on the control keys, honest. That well, must be. Fine. Yeah, he knows he has to score fast to get a draw here. Which means he has to take risks from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So he could just pick up a handoff here, but that would be two GFIs already. The mouse pad thingy, yeah, could be, but that doesn't switch between scenes or between things. Right, pickup's good. Two GFIs for the handoff then. If he wants it now. Well, he's just out of reach. I guess he could stay there for a turn. I do, I do, but it depends a lot on the meta you're in. Last season we had uh, six elf teams and two chaos teams, or something, I think. So that was definitely not worth uh, worth getting in. But this season is a lot more tree friendly, including this lizard game, which is why I decided to get one now. Because against Agility 4, it's relatively useless. Again, against Claw, it's relatively fragile. 
But lizards are a very, very good matchup for a tree. Yeah, he does go for the GFI. Fails the first one. In for a penny, in for a pound. Makes the GFIs. Does the handoff? Handoff is bad. Oh! <clears throat> well, for a bad, that went okay. Right? Ish. <laughs> Did bring him a hell of a lot closer. Wow. Wow, that commitment. Such commitment, much wow. So I'd have to start off with a block, really. Genuine block, even. Get up! Nope. Not happening. No, I could have gone here and to like that guy, actually. That would have been better. Still can. Just needs an extra dodge. Yeah, change your mind. Deserve snakes, really. See at least a push. Yes, good, good. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily very helpful. want to make this three dice actually because if I do then I use both of these and I'd rather not no yeah maybe you could just make a run for it I guess Uh, jeez. Pro elves <clears throat> are really not my forte, although elves in general are. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Happens. Happens. <laughs> and he's got block. <laughs> That was that was cool. That was interesting. Right. Uh yeah. There I guess. No. So that makes it easier for him to three down. Two, four, six, seven. There. Whew! <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, there's worse times for those kinds of dice, right?
4.7 skulls. Painful lack of Juggernaut. Yeah, this is one of the rare... Or Wrestle, to be honest. I mean, I'd still... I like Juggernaut on a Frenzy. I don't really like Strip Ball on a Frenzy, but, you know, I wanted to get one and he was there or something. I wanted to get a Frenzy and the Strip Ball was ha happened to be the first one to scale. Um... But the Juggernaut Strip Ball thing is really not... Uh... Did he at least pay the price in blood? Monkey G, thank you for asking. Did I pay, pay the price in blood? Let me think. Mm, I guess the answer is not yet. <laughs> the Lizards did, though. There you go. Liger is injured. Nope, still not paid the price in blood. Um, this guy got minus armor into death by the Apo. So that was cute. But it can still happen, of course. Yeah, no POW, so no chain pushing free. Well, you can chain push the tackler off if he wants, instead of taking the both down for the hit. Probably a better idea. Yeah. Oh, this guy is neatly in the scoring range, of course. Okay, dodge used. Two of five, good. One reroll remaining. Three plus catch, good. Uh, one GFI remaining. Now he's going to block something and waste his reroll, <clears throat> and then fail the GFI. Last reroll. He didn't snake it. So he now has the option to try and steal without a reroll, without a crox, against 10 or 11 wood elves with probably 11 lizards. Oh, wait, no, I have 10. I have 10. I knew that because this guy got injured. So he's he does outnumber me. And I did it again, it seems. So no thrower, right? Well, a Jelly 5 catcher passes pretty well, too. I mean, he's got more range for moving. He's got dodge, and he can throw six squares on a 2+. plus. just means no reroll. Okay, that works. Oh, man. Good skill up there, too. What did I do to the poor Crocs? Well, I blitzed him with a defaulted user here. And he's not coming back, or if he is, then that's because he's broke, because minus armor into death is not kind on the crocs. Straight up 10-10 roll. Good stuff. Okay. Wood dedicating my entire team to surfing... The strength five B bat manners. Maybe a little, right? Would probably also be bad tactics. So you are now our 
dedicated pickup and throwy dude. This block still looks legit. We can put the skink now. Yeah, all right. All right. Surfing is fun, yes. If I were three nail ahead now, I might be more tempted. That's a good guideline, the Lord. He gets the second blitz. He's better set up for it this time. Well, at least I didn't set up for the full uh, full team surf. Because that would have been even worse. Ow. Ow. I think the phrase we're looking for is, uh-oh. Now, I do have the Agility 5. He does still need to catch it. Which is a 4 plus with no reroll. So even the catch is only 50 50. He still needs to get under it. Hmm. And he has only one diving tackle, which is also his only blodge. Which cannot get under there but which could potentially mark some of these guys. No tackle helps a bit. I think we're actually kind of okay. Probably, maybe, hopefully. We still got this guy though. Conquatic. I need a smoke. I need a pee. Blitz spices up the game. Yeah, that's very true. That is very true. Hmm. Even if he does uh, score on his 16, I could still one turn, actually. I mean, I do have the uh, Movement 9 Sprint Sure Feet here. Oh, he's going for it! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking glorious. That is that is beautiful. That is spectacular. And then just get another blitz. <laughs> just roll another blitz. Ah, brilliant. <sighs> Come on, catch it. Catch it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on! Come on! Catch it! Ah! Right, so. Pick up. Hand off. What's that? Ha! <laughs> 
Agility in the world won't help you. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes. Well, 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 well. And the dancers are still up front, which is kind of sad. Cuckoo. Yeah, get everyone around there. Get your dog tackle on it. No sure hands, of course. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven range. I guess he doesn't want to score, right? Oh, he does. He's going for the win. He's going for the win. He's going for the win. That was pretty epic. Because now I am suddenly under pressure to score. This is this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And I'm still outnumbered, even though he doesn't have crocs. Skinks can be a pain in the ass for sure. Sure, Hans could be a pain. Pressure to stall. Well, not that much. I mean, if I score in two instead of three. <laughs> Thank you, Aether. Yeah, that's uh, that's been a while. I think we're on eight months now, maybe nine. No, we didn't have the nine months yet, but we're getting close. Yeah. <clears throat> Even the sub button itself has become uh, somewhat less of a rarity since. Hmm, right. Block there. Blitz. There. And the non-sidestep side, I guess. Skip him altogether. Yeah, I do kind of want to pick a side here, of course. So I suppose we do this and this. And then that. That leaves me this guy somewhere over there. This guy somewhere over here, I suppose. You can just be here then.
I do think this will do. For now. Right. <clears throat> First order of business. We still have three euros, so that's all good. Do I want to cover this ball? No, I want to move up there. Do it as far as I can. That's a two one. Let's free this up. Okay, 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 I'm scared already. Jeez. Problem is, I really want to get the ball to him. Or I could just hide in the backfield for a turn, right? Yeah, that's okay. In which case, he should have really been there. Or we move around this side, that works. I don't want to risk that. If we do fill the pickup, how bad is it really? Oops. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's go here instead. Screens off this side. Make up time. Come on. Right, what's the furthest you can get? Let's say that guy here. So we hide there. Perfect. Add a reach. That'll do. Time for a tree die. Whee! Down goes the tree. So, um, we still have two more turns. Scoring in one isn't awful. We still have a couple of options as well. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's there's a couple of things that could have been done better, but by and large, it does the job really well. I mean, the game feels pretty complete to me.
Interesting decisions to make. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's on the list too, uh, Lithuanian. I put that on there yesterday or today, I think. But to be fair, so we're talking to uh, Nethios tomorrow. Nethios is from Focus, not from Cyanide. Focus is the publisher. They handle the community side of things, like organizing tournaments, which they've mostly um, left to some capable uh, admins. But <laughs> Um, any changes that require coding or database structuring or stuff like that is cyanide. So there's going to be a much bigger threshold to get anything like that done, probably. Uh, history teaches us that this is uh, usually the case. Okay. Punch the catcher, makes sense. That's not a pal. Oh, he got a reroll. That's annoying. I missed that. Pay attention, Sage. Figure out what's going on. Come on. What are you doing? That helps a little, but not enough, because this catcher is still stuck. The tree going down actually sucked for me. So, he's done a pretty good job at keeping me somewhat occupied. So what we do now is we blitz this. Both now will do. Can we get him in range? Two, four, six, eight, ten. That would be two GFIs. Is that worth it? Let's see. Yes. This one's good. Ooh, that makes things scary now. At least it wasn't snakes this time. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pass from here. Pass from anywhere around here, then. Everyone else is going to have to roll dice either without team roll. Or. Let's see. This guy's stuck here. That's good. This guy's stuck here. That's good. This guy's stuck there for now. This one's not really a problem. Hmm. If I pass now, it's a 2 plus 2 plus with no reroll. If I try to hide somewhere, this guy can get me pretty much anywhere. They can get me just about anywhere as well. Suppose we hide here. We send him through there. And we block that. At 
least it creates options. Because failing here now could really, really be even more disastrous. Yep. That's what we're going for. Change plan, because we used the gene reroll. Here we kind of want to push because we want to keep that guy busy. And now we want the bow. There, see? That's marking. That's marking for you. Nice, huh? I like that. Um, right, this guy's stuck. This guy's relatively irrelevant. This is still one guy, though. This guy's relevant, but. This guy's not. Three plus is good. Two die is good. Glad that wasn't one die. Ooh, and a removal is also somewhat helpful. <sighs> Scary turn this after that. Uh, what was it? Double skull? Helpful as well. So I could either dodge or I could one die, and I think one die is better here. Because the goal is to get him by himself somewhere. And this does that too. Yeah. Ah, this'll do. This'll do. Considering how early we lost the reroll. That was uh, not nearly as bad as it could have been. So, turn 16 still to go. He can get Diving Tackle on me. He can get a 2 die Blitz on me. He can also pow my guard, which is sad. Oh, wait, he had a reroll. He got one from the thingy. That's annoying. Yeah, now this is an Agility 3. And he can 2 die if he wants to. Well, to be fair, Alark, <coughs> uh, he also needed two blitzes to get uh, to get where he is right now. Yeah, this stun is actually huge because this guy's boxed in, this guy's a jelly three, this guy's out of range, this stun. The, both these POWs plus that stun were massive, massive things. And of course, if this king blitzes me, even if he doesn't get me down, the fact that he puts Diving Tackle on me is still a bit annoying. And he's got two dice with block. He is, Dr. No, he is. But I think this guy might be easier to work with. Depending on whether we need the blitz or not. <sighs> he made two dodges. Why did he... Oh, that was already the plan. Okay. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> that should mean
No, don't go there. That was dumb. Ah, uh, you should be here. That was all kinds of dumb. Whoops. Because I've got frenzy. Ah, uh, that was silly. So either I accept an extra GFI, or I accept an extra one die. Same difference. Yeah. Well, ah, that was dumb. If this goes push into skull, I can only blame myself. Kind of dum, 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 dum. Nope. Oh, there he is. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, that'll do. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing! Whew! That was closer than I thought after I made that 2-0. I was like, yeah, we can score, we're ahead. Let's milk some more touchdowns. Whew! Mmm, down blitzes. Huh. Yeah, that was fun. It was a, it was a fun match. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now let's get some good winnings because we're still kind of brokish. And, um, well, well, this could be the start of something beautiful. Ooh, like that. Like that. 70k winnings. Yeah, that'll do. 140k in cash. We do not want you. We do not want you. We do not want our only permanently injured player to get an MVP. But I guess sides that wouldn't be bad. So, do we have skill rolls? Yes, we do. On the Agility 5, I believe. As soon as the match is confirmed. Trace. Trace gets... Yeah, block, right? It's gonna be block. Um, I mean, sure hands is an option, to be fair. Uh, the podcast will not be broadcast. Well, it will be. Uh, it will be after recording. It, will, it is not a live feature, so unfortunately, I can't send you guys over to uh, to Full Metal for it because it doesn't get streamed. Wrestle could be a fringe option, I suppose. But to be fair, I prefer on. Uh, I prefer to just. Except that the blitzers, the, the dancers are already uh, the sackers. And then just go with the uh, block sure hands, uh, block, leap, sure hands, sidestep. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.